Locked up, won't let me out. Locked up. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I just got to make a comment, um, and I'm not going to um, say what's obvious, but this video is about. Uh, Lil Boosie being arrested, um, state dropping the charges, and then the federal uh, feds picking up those same charges, and who knows, maybe more. However, um, not allowing um, Boosie to post bail, which they rarely do, and just how this is going to play out pretty much and the trauma that is going to be placed on his children again and this is unfortunately all too often this happens you know in our communities i mean but y'all can we can say what we want to say and have our opinion everybody got one and this is mine uh, but Boosie, you know, as much as his dysfunctional self can love his children, he loves them, okay? It's a crazy love. Um, it's a helicopter love in some cases, like not wanting MJ to wear his, uh, his hair the way he wants them to, his individuality. He has to represent his father at all times. Um, that's something I would have loved to have a conversation with him about. Um, but I met Boosie, and like I told y'all, I, I, you know, he, he put on a concert for us here in Milwaukee um, to raise money uh, for Alderman. And, um, you know, he... Like I said, he's just a southern dude. He reminds me of one of my cousins or something. Everybody got somebody in their family like him. Um, and he was very mannerable. Small little dude. But what I'm saying is with this 15 years, 10 to 15 years not being able to post bail and to have him now going up against the United States of America, all I could think about is every time I would see him on YouTube, I'd laugh because I wish he could have stuck to his house. Um, when the feds get you, they get, you know they 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 pretty much know what they're doing. They don't. They have a very high accountability uh, rate, and um, you hope it was. You don't know it. If, if it was just what we're speculating. However, the, the, the judge don't want to allow him to post bail because they say he's a flight risk. <laughs> and um, he may intimidate the community. Now, when we start talking about this is what the, this is what happens and this is what got me when he kept talking about snitches and how they take people away from their families and things of that nature. But it is us, when we look in the mirror, that take ourselves away from our family. It is us who already escaped one damn landmine. Being on death row, being on death row, I mean, it, it, it's, 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 it's something I, I can't imagine, sitting up here waiting to die, and you beat that, and you like to flash by your own admittance, and it's, being a Scorpio, you hard-headed. By very nature. But I was very uncomfortable when you were sitting around that barbershop 
uh, put, what is it, uh, Mad Hoffa, Math Hoffa, or something like that. And for some reason, it came over my spirit that you talking, you talk too much. And there was a guy on there, and I guess that's who it is, because I don't, I just happened to watch my spirit led me. Because I've been thinking about you this week, Boosie. I've been seeing you a lot, of course, but I've been just thinking about you and thinking about the time you came to Milwaukee. Matter of fact, you always in Milwaukee, um, whether the people out there know that or not. Your friends were home or blow. Uh, so, you know, the, 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 the thing I was thinking about was this guy seems as if he's challenging Boosie in terms of uh, getting caught, he, you know, what happens if you get caught with the gun, and what, what you do, and then Boosie just talking, talking, and people talking about DJ Vlad getting him put in jail. Who you should have been worried about is that guy you was he was talking about, because that's that probably helped seal his fate as well. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I was like, why are you talking so much? That's what I was saying. Now you got to think about. You know, I know Tootie Raw and, uh, you know, Aviana. I know they're, they're, they're an adult, you know, but you have other children. You got eight kids. You got Ray Ray. You got MJ. You know what I mean? You got the little girls. You got, you got, you got a lot of kids. And if they talking about giving you this much time, brother, nobody... You gonna have to take that L because guess what? This is God trying to tell you something. Did you say you believe in God? And this, this I hope is your wake up call because, you know, you're not a well dude. You had the diabetes. You just beat cancer. God has been so good to you, but you out your own mouth said when God sit you down. When God sit you down. Then you sat. And I'm going to tell you something about the federal government. Now, I'm not a person. I'm, you know, the state had charges against me before with Ale with that um, Alberto Gonzalez voter fraud stuff. But I, I've never done anything that um, I would that I've been caught for that um, warrant a felon. Me to have a felony. I don't have a felony on my record. But I do remember running around with um, a guy that, uh, you know, he was a shot caller. And he promised me my own club. So I was hanging with them and doing things that uh, I probably shouldn't have been doing. But as a singer, you know, you hustling. You're doing what you can do. Okay? And at that time, I was living on a... A ranch, and I had a few horses, and I, I I thought I was really, you know, doing it. But I also know that what I was doing, in terms of, uh, you know, making drop off and stops across the country, I knew that was something that would get me in jail. You know what I'm saying? So all while I was doing this dirt, I'd be thinking, you know, I got, I, you know, this is far away from home. This ain't where I belong. I knew it. I knew I was doing wrong, in other words. But hey, that's the chance I took, right? So anyway, I got out the situation because, like I said, these were friends. These were people I knew. Um, I won't necessarily see yeah, I, I would say they, they were semi-friends because when shit hit the fan, I found out just really who they were. But I remember when I left, I remember getting a call from the FBI on my phone. They tapped my phone, right? So they'd ask to speak to me, or I answered the phone. I'm like, yeah. And they were asking me, how did I know whoop de whoop? How, you know, what was my association with them? And I think this was maybe about three or four months after I had left. And I was like, what? I don't, I don't know them. And then I remember the guy saying to me, or it was a woman. She said, oh, yes, you do. You, you know them all right because 
they there have been conversations from their phone to this phone right here and there's been at least eight calls and she gave me the dates and the times and I was like what the freaking frack and I remember those times I remember those times when um, I got those phone calls you know about me leaving and you know um, you know certain things that they weren't comfortable with however what I did was I just played it off I was like oh so and so, you mean so and so, so and so from Family Faith Trading Post? Oh yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I used to get my uh, supplies from them, like my incense and my. I, you see what I mean? I had just started um, going off, and they left me. I, I answered a few questions. It's been so long ago. I answered a few questions. But what really got me is that I knew that was something different because here they was telling me, oh, yes, you did. You talked to him before. And uh, I'm going to tell you when you did. So I know when feds get a hold to you, it's a whole different scenario. And I wish Boosie well. I really do. I know because I know that he's, you know, he's a diabetic. But when you're irresponsible and you don't, I, and that's what I think. I think although you love your children, I think you were, there is some very irresponsibility going on here. And if I would have had a chance and an opportunity to tell you, I would have told you my opinion. <laughs> I really would have. <laughs> Not that it would have meant anything. i had been like, D you going to be away from your kids. You keep this up. And that's where you at with it right now, brother. And my prayers go out to you. Because I know that... Um, the first people you call was your message you put out. You you apologize for your 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 to your children for your um, disappointing them from having to be away from them, and um, it's really a shame. It's another black family uh, destroyed because if they don't let you out and you got all that. Acres, 40 acres, and building and build All that's about to come to an end. Nobody's going to be able to look after your stuff the way you would. And God blessed you with it all. But it, it was time for you to sit down. Because you didn't know how to set yourself down. You know, sometimes when you get away with something, you have to keep a low profile. And you haven't learned that. You didn't learn that. So, uh. Just be blessed, brother, and I wish you the I wish you the best, actually. And my heart go out to every one of your children because this is an example of what not to do. This is an example to them of what not not to do. And don't imitate this behavior. All right, I'm going to go. With that being said, you know, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video.